I have had to cipher, like technically speaking, by having the reggae music, you see? So, but the, the, the song, the message, the word, the new language is important. Now, the, the, the saints are in a particular context to this reality. Now, we're still speaking on kapar and atonement. We're going to make a, a, a sidebar point right here concerning the, the sinner, right? The sinner. Now, some people say sin, sin, so, and they act like they don't understand it, and they think it means these little nonsense issues that so-called nominal Christians tell them about. But really, sin in the eyes of the court, the higher court, of, of, of the Father, you understand, and the Son and the Holy Spirit, that sin is criminal activity to the heaven. Criminal activity. You know what the Bible talks about in Revelation, that, the, that their sins, their abomination, it goes up into heaven? You know, and these things are going up to heaven, and it's from that, that blue, you know, the blue, the whole, the two truths, the blue and the red, you understand? But they try to divide and conquer and then create out the blue and the red, the crypts and the bloods. But the blue and the red are those symbolic colors in the tabernacle, like in the Matrix movie, the blue pill and the red pill. The secret is that you have to take the red pill, which is symbolic of sacrifice, the part two of this that we're dealing with, with atonement. As we are atonement, atonement is Christos's sacrifice. But the Old Testament gives a type of a kidner garden um, example when we look at the, 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 the five types, you understand, and how these relate vis-a-vis -vis to Christ. It's like the Old Testament is, is, is like the, the mythology of the mystery, and in Christ, in Yeshua HaMoshiach, is the mystery now revealed. You understand? And if we meditate this and study, we can now see the, both the principles and the process in order to actualize. And, and this is what the doctrine, the true teaching of the Timharit is of. So the word crime and criminal, in other words, the sinner is the criminal before heaven. Now people say, what do you mean? Well, do you know the commandment? It's about the, 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 the commandment. You might say ten commandments. We know it's ten words, the commandment. Now, the, the, the commandment is just pure legislation. This is pure law. You understand? But we, we're taught that none could live up to that perfectly after the fall. They could not live up to his pure, so this is where we get the sacrificial types in the Old Testament. Remember that it, the mountain thunders, so forth and so on. And the Israelites said, well, we don't want to hear Yah's voice because we're afraid if we hear it, we will die. They could not hear Yah speak his, speak his command. They said, if Moses tells us, we will hear and we will do. And then we see the golden calf incident happen shortly thereafter. And then what do we see? Then we see now no longer is it the, a nation of the priesthood, but a particular tribe, the Levites now, become those ministers, you understand, know or those priests or those representatives of John's square, of the square. You know, saying the Holy Square. Now, we, we was doing some study on this. You know, we hear about tripartite government, and it's not the government teaching. We want to keep this on discipleship, but discipleship is preparing us for the kingdom, basically. So we are learning of the kingdom, but learning the principles, you know, saying the process, how to actualize it so that we stay within, in, in harmony, you understand, know, with Yeshua in spirit and in truth. So we don't want to get too much into the, the, the kingdom reasoning or the governmental reasoning just yet. But the Israelites were supposed to be a nation of the priesthood, a nation. 
after the golden calf incident, it was Levi. Now, New Testament tells us that Levi is the pattern in the book of Hebrews, chapter uh, 7, thereabout, tells us that Levi is the pattern. So he is a priest after the order of Melchizedek. You understand? According to the pattern of Aaron or of Levi, according to the Levitical pattern, but now it has been transformed to a higher type. So we have the Old Testament chalice of the wine, and then Christ says that you do this in remembrance of me, but he will not until he does it anew in the kingdom. Then we hear about Christ's sacrifices likened to a sweet savor, a sweet-smelling savor, a, a sweet-smelling fragrance. Now this is interesting. Because where does the crucifixion connect of Christ with a sweet-smelling fragrance? Because it's speaking about the context of Christ based on the older type or this Hebraic, you know, this Hebraic pattern that we find in Leviticus. So the 29th Torah portion, Ahare, or Ahare Mot, Bechala, uh, Kamotu Bechala, it actually speaks after kind of discussing, beginning off with um, after Aaron's two sons, because they burnt what strange fire. Now, what we have spoken to Aaron and given to Aaron is the pattern of the type, but it's be speaking of Yom Kippur, of the Day of Atonement. But the word Kippur, Kapar, doesn't mean atonement in its literal Hebraic sense, it means covering. But now the translators of the King James Bible have translated that as atonement, or interpreted rather, that as atonement because of the context of the New Testament. Because the New Testament takes the veil off of the eyes. So what we see in the Old Testament as types, we know it's fulfilled in Yeshua HaMoshiach. So here we, we touch on how, according to the scripture, the Metaf Kedus, the legal sacrifice, the lawful sacrifice, it did what? It covered the offerer's sin. Basically, to upgrade, it covered the offerer's crime. Because what is a crime? Uh, we have it right here in our notes, a crime is 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 well, like criminal legally legally convicted you know what I'm saying it's a verdict crime is a verdict it's an object of reproach reproach is hatred that's why it says that Jahi hates the wicked he hates their wickedness and even lists many of the types of wickedness these are objects of reproach of offense they're offensive to his righteousness they're offensive to life and life more abundantly. So he has already sentenced this by a verdict. That's all you hear everybody talk about judgment day. Is this judgment day? No, judgment day is coming, but give thanks for Yah's grace. You know what I'm saying? Because that gives many of I and I an opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to get that immunity, which is to receive Kabbalah salvation. You understand, know and to learn in discipleship, and then to serve in that yoke or instruction with Adonai and our brothers and sisters in Christ, to the glory of the King of Kings. Now, understanding that there's, there's three levels. We were talking about this in part of the last one. Um, there's a misdemeanor, which is a wrong action, right? A wrong doing. You understand? Um, there is a crime which is, like when they say, have you been legally convicted?